good things comes to those who wait. And good things come to those people who especially don't want to pay $40 just to get one call and just wait for him, for him to be a single. This is the case here with Harvey Weinkamp. He was released in a 10 pack and I believe in late 2017 or early 2017, I don't know. And he was in the 10 pack with Rusty McQueen, Segler, Lady Swiver, Static Cruise, and many more. I did not buy that pack because I actually already had most of the cars, so I was like, what's the point? I'll just wait for him as a single. And he ended up becoming a little whale, and I was like, oh shoot, I can't get the China version. But when I heard he was he was going to be released as a single, I was more than ecstatic. I was jumping through the roof basically because I could finally get him and complete my next year collection. Anyway guys, welcome back to another review on the channel. Today, we will be taking a look at Harvey Wildcamp, Next Gen Easy Idol Racer number 15. So, let's get on to this packaging. As you can see, there is this nice artwork, looking very, very nice. We have the Cars logo on the right, top right hand corner, and the, next, and the logo for the Next Gen Pistol Cup Racer series, in which he is in. There's the car itself, now out. Now, here is the name tag, RV1 cab, we have the ridge, and the name tag, now, I actually have already reviewed another car of this series, the one Ghost Shack, so, if you would like to see that review, the link will be down in the description below, but I'll just go over it again, well, the impressive next gen race is Brick Lightning McQueen's winning streak, and then we can see Cam, Chris, Danny, and McQueen, again, the Los Angeles 500, here is the back, we have Ryan Inside Lady, Conrad Campbell, Paul Conrad, and Danica Cruz. Now Ryan, Paul, and Cruz have been released from Thailand. Conrad has not, but I'm sure he will be coming very soon. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging, and I'll be right back with Harvey Rodcamp all opened up. Alright, here is Harvey out of the package, and he's looking really, really great, and way shinier too. So let's get on to his review. Oh wait. I have to talk about his appearance first. So he appeared in Cars 3 as obviously the next gen Easy Idol. And he replaced Carl Clutchin, who was the star called Easy Idol Racer for Cars 3. And who himself replaced Ruby Easy Ox, who, the star car in Cars 1. Now unfortunately, like always, I do not have the Cars 3 star car or the Cars 1 star car. But hopefully I can get them soon. So... Now that we're done talking about his appearance, let's get on to the review of him since I already talked about his release. So on the hood here, we have Easy Idol, with a very simplistic font, we have the two blue things, lines going across it, we have the grayish middle part, which his whole middle part is basically gray, with some white accents here. Here's his, here's his, his expression, looks really nice, although... They gave him brown eyes, whereas his corner has blue eyes, so I don't know why, but oh well. Uh, we have the headlights, the and the grill, which is basically a mustache. They do not connect. No vents. Well, actually, there was like spots for the vents, but they're not there, so I don't know why he doesn't have it. But oh well. We have light. We have his black light new tires, next gen style. His contingency sponsors are the Pesta Cup, Combustor, and Carbon Cyber. Wait, what? He doesn't even have the foot one. It was Synergy. Hold up. Let's, I'll check some other next gens. Uh, I have Tim. Yeah, yeah. he has Pesta Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. He's missing Synergy. Let's see. Yeah, Chase has it. I think, let's check Noah, who is my most recent next gen besides Harvey. Yeah, even he has it, so... If it focus, please. Yeah, see, he has synergy on him too, so... I don't know why Harvey doesn't, but... I don't know, it's probably because they... It, the contingency sponsor is white, and this whole part's white, so I guess they thought it would be too hard to see. But that actually, that's actually really cool that Harvey's... I think he's like the only next gen that does not have synergy on the side. But anyway, we have the 15 here. Some more of the blue, gray, and white patterns on the side. 
Looks really, really nice. We have the black rims. Gas cap. Number 15 on the roof. With the bars, which are all colored. And these actually look way better than Noah's. Like, as you can see, on Noah's. Yeah, they didn't look as good. And... Yeah, they didn't look as good. These were a little too thick. But now here, I feel like this is better. And also, I think he has separate inserts for the windows, which is very strange because, as you saw in my review of Noah, he had painted windows. So, I don't know why Harvey has it, but not Noah. But anyway, we have the Easy Idol logos on the side. Easy Idol on the spoiler. And, yep, it is loose, unfortunately. Yeah, a little unfortunate. I don't think the China word the China word has a much sturdier spoiler, but oh well, easy I don't know. Spoiler, really nice. On the back here it's blue, which is actually nice because it kinda contrasts it contrasts the other colors. So we have easy idol, which is in white, so kind of the flip flip of that. We have the we have the headlights and the two rookie stripes to indicate that he is in fact a rookie. And this side is the same. And here is the base. So M44A is so basically made in the 44th week of 2019, made in Thailand. So that's pretty much it for the review on Harvey. Looks really nice, one of my favorites actually. I'm so glad I finally have him. And uh, I think also for the Amazon exclusives, they're also re-releasing their Corsia, who is the next gen gasket racer, and their Clocker, who is the next gen revolting racer? So that's very, very cool. Now, before we close out the video, I do want to do some comparisons. Like, so there's some other next gens, like Tim Trutless, who happens to be the first. I bought up like rims. Tim does not have window bars, but Harvey does. And he has no rookie stripes, which I don't know why he doesn't. Let's check out Chase Wasteland, who's probably my favorite out of all of them, still. Really nice. I'll check out Noah Goshek, who is my most recent extra. I also did a review on him. And also, if you, I don't know if you realize this, but Harvey is like the only one that has like a calm expression, not a murderous expression, as I like to put it. Because all the other extras are showing, they had this mean looking expression, but for Harvey, not, no, not really. I believe the China one also had it as well, so that's really nice. Here we show the shift to. And also, I'll do some other more. Here's right Inside Lady. Yeah, you can see with the window, with why they did not color in the window bars. Now, this is the China release. I think the Thailand one did have the color window bars, but I don't know. I don't have that one. Same thing with Spiky Phillips, who's also from Thailand. And last but not least, we have JD McPillow. I like JD a lot. He's a cool next gen. Yeah, there's also the window bars are left like that, but for Harvey, they were painted, which is nice. And I do want to note before we end up this video that his middle part is like gray. And I believe China one actually was like a silverish color, which did not match the movie or the card art. Because if you look at the card art, this middle part is supposed to be black. And this is still gray, unfortunately, so it's not entirely accurate, but it's much closer than the China one was. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it for Harvey. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more upcoming content on the channel. See you all next time. Until then, this is Carl Clutchin, signing out.